to kick this video off, I go in using my gold comb and I'm combing everything with the grain, getting everything to lay down, prepping it for the fade today. Today I'm going to be doing like a Rick Ross fade. It's going to be high up top, going to be a real deep fade, real full beard. I'm going to do the inside of the beard as well. We're going to really take it there. If y'all able to sit through this 18 minute video, I promise y'all it's finna get ugly. Then I go in using my gold FX's and I'm using my gold FX's at the bottom of the vertical bar and I'm basically creating a straight line and I'm dropping it towards the back of the head so it's not going to be a drop fade but I don't want the fade too high in the back for it to look like a, like a super high fade um, because my client actually has a different head shape than Rick Ross and the lining and everything is proportioned different but this is how you make you know a celebrity haircut fit you know your normal consumer or your normal customer or your normal client whatever the situation is you get clients who come in and they ask for haircuts that they see on the internet and some people can get the haircuts and some people can't get the haircuts it really determines you know based off of the head shape you know hair texture how full a lineup is in certain places like it just really matter uh based on whatever the situation is in the client's uh hair or whatever the canvas is that day so you guys got to really pay attention to hair shape hair texture and you know the lineup things of that nature want to give you these pictures because you are trying to compare what you're doing to theirs so i go on my babeless fx's and i'm going in about a half of an inch just because i won't be removing no bulk from the top like i honestly feel like the top of his hair is you know the perfect height for this haircut right now so i'm gonna just basically be doing a fade on the sides it's gonna be very detailed i go in halfway right here and i just blend at half of this panel and as you guys can see we are slowly but surely starting to create transition and create the detailed look that we want then we're fully closed here and we're getting everything together even better as you guys can see, like the Babeless FX's are not to be played with. You got level work on them. The uh, the motor is consistent. They're very, 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 very powerful. And then I go in with my Andis Fade Blade up under that just because I kind of set my guideline in with my hitters. And at times, you know, fully closed, the Babeless can't get it out. Um, but I got that Fade Blade on the 1919. So shout out to my boy Filthy Blends. And you spell filthy with a PH underscore blends with a z he actually sells the bracket that will help you convert your andis blades and put them on any wall body clipper so please go check my boy filthy blends out it is a dope 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 bracket in the game right now so as you guys can see we got that bottom panel blew out then i go in completely closed with my 116th on my andis fade masters now i could have stayed with my babeless but honestly i like my masters better the guards dig and it's just so much more of a consistent fade for me just because i'm so in tune with this guard system you guys gotta find y'all theory y'all gotta find what work for y'all because when you find what works for you that's when you create that gumbo and that sauce about you like i stated in previous videos that you guys gotta focus on y'all self and focus on creating y'all theory so y'all can better y'all self and display nothing but gas right here i'm in halfway so i did my first panel close and then i'm in halfway here and I'm just basically detailing in this area as you guys can see the fade is already coming together and everything is falling into place due to the hair being the perfect height and me not having to really remove no bulk from you know the top of the hair or really the ridge of the hair everything is just very consistent with me throughout this fade which is why you know I like this video I get a lot of ball fade comments a lot of people ask about doing like real deep fades so I kind of want to you know spend some time with getting a lot of clean deep fades in for you guys and i think this is a goodie so please like share subscribe comment do all of that i promise y'all like the gas won't stop it's 2019 this year the creators glacier gang we in a building we focus it's that time so I just keep everything consistent and I'm just opening and adjusting my lever as I go throughout my fade because what I'm trying to do is hit a lot of the bulky areas without having to put on any other guard besides my 116th. At times you can save yourself so much time but you gotta understand your clipper and you gotta understand your guard system. Right here I go in, in the beard and I'm completely 
close and then I go halfway and then I go open and then I fade between the two so whatever I do to the bottom is what I do to the top it's just like finding a common denominator everything is just reciprocated because I did it up top first and then I dropped down and as you guys can see I just go into detail this area in the back of the head where it's still a little bit bulky I'm using my 1 16th guard and as you guys can see I got so much control over using this guard when I'm using the hilt of my blade and not really digging into the client's head I'm keeping my blade consistent and only fading using the back you know of my blade so my blade is tilted so I'm not taking too much hair and I'm always creating softer guidelines I go in completely open and then I drop them halfway right here and then I'm gonna go completely close and as you guys can see the back is pretty much blended out like it is so easy to knock these fades out you guys got to remember and create that theory creating your theory and creating your sauce and your flair and your flavor about yourself is what is going to make you stand out from other barbers you got me you got Basio, you got jeezy you got sean cuts here you got matt gifted hands you got so many influencers on youtube that's giving amazing game away you just take a little bit of what you find you know throughout the internet and your research and you just apply it to what you already do you know to to to, to grow your arsenal is to further education is to you know to pay attention to what's going on and not only your industry but you know all of the other third party apps that uh have communities evolving your industry like youtube is one of the greatest sources for any upcoming barbers because you guys get you know raw footage you guys also get to watch us troubleshoot our way through our haircuts and explain it down to a t as best as we can to help you guys comprehend and put up the same shots or put up something similar in the shop the objective is for everybody to grow if you haven't you know been a part of my movement or been watching my videos uh a quick little thing about me is that when you come to my channel i want my channel to be a whole vibe i want the video to be a vibe my music set my tone for my commentary it creates the individual that i will be throughout the video so like i kind of take a lot of things into a sense i'm not so much caring about the haircut because i can teach this stuff i've been doing it for 14 years i'm 25 now i started at 11 years old but i'm talking about the commentary tapping into the soul different and helping you guys you know comprehend and understand what I'm talking about It's not as easy as possible But I want y'all to understand and know When y'all come here I'm trying to create a vibe for y'all I'm trying to create an atmosphere for y'all I want y'all to feel like y'all home When y'all with my channel Y'all not just here to watch You know, barber videos Y'all here to take motivation as well Y'all here to also watch me go through my trials and tribulations Y'all are also, you know, here to grow with me Like, that's, that's my objective When I created this family When I created this community of people that follow my trend or my hashtags or my movements the objective was to always use any bit of power that i had and, uh, any bit of influence that i had in the most positive way i want you guys to be able to build relations with each other i want you guys to be able to network with each other i want you guys at these events it's just an amazing industry and it's non-stop growing like we've watched the barber industry over the last five to ten years you know break barriers that we never thought could be broken like we got wireless clippers we got wireless charging we have cordless airbrush compressors we have our own color and i'm not just talking about tomb 45 i'm talking about the industry how far it has grown in the last five to ten years goes to show that barbering has no max there's so many different elements that go into barbering but you know for the sake of it and coming here for my videos i just wanted to be a vibe and i want y'all to understand everything so as you guys seen i detailed in the back of the head but i go in now with spritz and i just want to get majority of this hair down pack i want to get everything locked and loaded and set up for the next step as i stated in previous videos small setup combos for the heavy haymaker these this is my jabs right here i go in using color and the application brush and i'm basically you know framing out my work I want to give my client a thicker beard because he went to a barber previous before me and the barber kind of cut his beard down lower um, than what it would usually be. He actually have a wider video. If you guys seen my uh, every client um, haircut challenge that Jeezy called me out and I cut the same client. His beard was way wider so I had to go in and do some surgical work. I go in using my application brush the bottom of it 
touching the bottom of my right point and putting that same point on my left side so I can get a consistent flow and a symmetrical look. That's what it's about. You got to set yourself up. Everything has to be a reference point for me in order for me to move on to my next step. As you guys see, everything is vital to my process. I did one side. I used the back of the brush. I carried it over to the left side just so I can line up my sides. Symmetricalness to me is next to none. Then I go in and I plant in the middle of the beard, which is my first reference point. And then I go to the left and work my way to the middle, which is what helps me create the circular round motion in the inner part of the beard. Color is so much more easier when you set yourself up with these reference points while doing color. It's so much easier to bring it together. And if you guys are able to apply color before you finish the haircut, at times you can tweak the haircut while you apply color. Well, at times detailing comes, you know, best handy after, you know, you'd apply a color. And I remember me and Bossy are doing a video segment for the Academy, how he kind of felt the same way. It's just crazy, man. Like color has no limits. And as you guys can see, he has a beard lined up without me even lining the beard up. So we go in with the gold FXs, hitting the vertical bars because we know we are not as strong there. And then we move right to the middle and we'll work the middle to the left after establishing our vertical bar. We got to see exactly where we're going in this hair because this hair isn't you know it's perfect this isn't the easiest lineup to do because there's so many dips in his lineup you would think that you know it's easier but as you guys can see right here in this corner there's a tough light spot right here in this corner um and people dig into that light spot a lot so you kind of got to finesse it and as you guys can see i'm barely hitting the line i'm not doing no hard work all because i know this lineup isn't as strong as i want it to be but there's other things in the industry that we will use to assist this line and to make it 10 times stronger and as you guys can see we go in with my product onyx no drip shout out to my brother bossy yo shout out to the team tune 45 for helping me you know bring this product to you guys eyes and i go in with sean cuts hair uh enhancement color card and i go in with my beam team coilless compressor xl spraying at a three to four inch distance radius keeping everything consistent applying color you know at an efficient rate because i'm not spraying outside my boundaries but at the same time enjoying what i'm doing this is literally me creating you know the look that my client came in the shop with and if you guys seen that picture that we doing a rick ross haircut like anybody who see rick ross haircut know rick ross is one of the flyers we got one of the flyest cuts in the game right now he always super crispy the beard is always clean it's always full looking so you know we just reciprocating that energy over here you know on the beam team channel we getting everything together we keeping everything consistent and i want everything to fall into place perfectly for you guys just because my whole process is systematic and every step that i take is vital to why i do everything so when i went in i used color and then after using my color on my color enhancement card i went in with my barber magic pencil and i highlighted and concealed my line in the way women will highlight and conceal their eyebrows after concealing their eyebrows they will use a blending brush which is what i'm doing now using my trimmers to basically blend out the concealed line and as you guys see like when the concealed line spreads across the skin from the trimmers hitting it it give a real nice contrast and gives a real clean look it just assists my pictures but also it helps me instill that confidence and show precision at a higher level than what you would normally show it just because the contrast within the skin tones can make the aligning appear so much more sharper than what it is it's just you know optical illusion and a lot of people will you know joke about that term but when you are doing a lot of lineups all lineups are optical illusion any lineup that's done whether it's with color or whether it's not because that's not somebody's natural lineup just like every lineup is a pushback even if you're not like fully pushing somebody back you have to trim some type of hair or cut some type of hair to get a specific shape within a lineup so take that into consideration when you are using color and you just doing lineups that you know let things come naturally and you know use other products to help you assist or achieve you know the ultimate look that the clients come in and they ask for because you got to understand
understand we are barbers we know what we talking about we know what's best for a lot of our clients here at times but sometimes you get clients that know exactly what they want and the only thing you can do is accommodate them either you go you know do the work or you not going to do the work and in my case how I work in a shop environment I don't pick and choose my clients if they're on my appointment list stay in a chair so you know we make it happen this is my boy Jamel I actually been cutting them for about a year now and uh you know I I used to watch him get cut at my shop before and he got cut by a lot of other nice guys throughout my city but you know he finally made it in my chair and ever since he made it in my chair we've both been able to always consult well over his haircuts make sure that his haircuts are completely clean he like them real boss executive like looks and you know I like to accommodate that y'all know me I love precision I love real distinguished like clean precise haircuts so as you guys can see I went in with my tune 45 triple cartridge razor using the super exposed cartridge angling my razor at a 45 degree angle and bringing everything back to the lineup but I will start his lineup using a barber magic pencil just because it was just something that I was just trying sometimes I use it on the beard sometimes I don't and just in this case I just like to use it just to have more control uh, sometimes I just switch it up at times it, it just don't really matter you don't have to do this specific technique but I just like to do this technique on this client and this client only so as you guys can see I go in angling my razor at a 45 degree angle and I'm bringing everything back to the lineup getting everything as clean as possible staying consistent as possible I'm locked in I'm focused as you guys can see like we're not playing no games 2019 this year the creators in this bag season like we just so focused and this video was just so clean and I'm just bringing everything back to the lineup and the fade is there and this is just you know it's getting better with time like the further we get on in this video the nastier is getting and I just love that about this haircut so I'll repeat the same steps in the inner part of the chin area with the barber magic pencil because I kind of want to give it some highlights some extra pop for my pictures when I post my pictures on Instagram or on Facebook or any other social media app I kind of like my pictures to be real set and off the hook so then I go in with my end is fade blade by my boy filthy blends on my wall 1919s and I'm just coasting over the top of the hair as I stated at the beginning of the video this hair didn't need to be cut down this hair just needed to be shaped and uh, I just needed to knock some things out the way and as you guys can see I got my boy in goat mode I got him in rosé mode right now like I'm I'm, I, I'm activating it like I, I didn't press that button like right now is is you know it's me in the game right now like I'm not focused on anything else in the shop when I'm hooping like this I ain't talking at all in the shop like I'm not interacting with other barbers in the shop or other clients or nobody else unless there's something that needs my attention I'm not acting on anything but the haircut and my clients solely so in the imperfect world we do get clients that come in and give us reference pictures or, or give us verbal uh, references but as barbers it's up to us to accommodate that y'all know how we get out so hashtag TBT it's the beam team let's get this money lock in focus up strap in all of that hashtag glacier gang is year the creators is bag season we solely locked and focused and selfish on growing as individuals in this industry let's get our mind right focus up and may god bless